10 places to visit in Australia. Australia is a land of dreams. From the sacred legends of the Aboriginal Dreamtime, when the great spirits conjured the coral reefs, rainforests, and red deserts, to armchair travelers who describe Australia as their dream destination, the land down under deserves all the hype. The world's smallest continent and largest island, Australia is almost the same size as the United States, but with a population the size of New York State and some of the quirkiest wildlife on the planet. Australia is also a land of staggering contrast and spectacular beauty. Along the coast, you can explore vibrant cities, vast sand islands, ancient rainforests, and one of the planet's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, the Great Barrier Reef. In the outback, rugged national parks and red earth deserts offer the ultimate in adventure travel. Number 10. Blue Mountains National Park A UNESCO World Heritage Site, beautiful Blue Mountains National Park is a hiker's paradise and a popular day trip from Sydney. It lies an easy 81km drive west of the city. Named for the blue haze emanating from the many eucalyptus trees, this stunning park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness. On a visit here, you can explore dramatic gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The most famous attractions in Blue Mountains National Park are the towering sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Number 9. Great Ocean Road Great Ocean Road is one of the world's top scenic drives. Built to provide employment during the Depression, the road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's rugged southeast coast, winding along plunging sea cliffs. It stretches from the surfing town of Torquay to the town of Allensford near Warrnambool. One of the top attractions of the Great Ocean Road is Port Campbell National Park. This is where you can see wind and wave-sculpted rock formations known as the Twelve Apostles, London Bridge, the Ark, and Loch Ard Gorge. From the air, these rock formations look like giant puzzle pieces adrift along the coast, lashed by the pounding surf of the Southern Ocean. Nature lovers will also enjoy exploring the eucalyptus forests, fern-filled rainforests, hiking trails, and waterfalls in Otway National Park. Number 8. Kangaroo Island Nature takes center stage at Kangaroo Island. On this unspoiled island off South Australia's Flu Rio Peninsula, kangaroos hop along the powdery shores, sea lions and penguins frolic in the crystal clear waters, and koalas cling to the fragrant eucalyptus trees. Diving is also excellent. You can spot sea dragons in the temperate waters and dive shipwrecks off the island's coast. Kangaroo Island's top attractions are made by Mother Nature. See the striking wind-sculpted rock formations known as the Remarkable Rocks and Admiral's Arch in Flinders Chase National Park. Explore vast cave systems, surf towering dunes, and look for wildlife on scenic hiking trails along soaring sea cliffs and through pristine forests. Number 7. Whitsunday Islands one of Australia's most popular tourist destinations, the Whitsunday Islands lie scattered off Queensland's northeastern coast, surrounded by warm and inviting aquamarine waters. It is part of the Great Barrier Reef. Most of the archipelago lies within national parks, so stunning scenery and picture-perfect beaches abound. Due to the abundance of underwater riches and colorful coral reefs, the Whitsundays are a great place to go snorkeling and scuba diving. In Whitehaven Beach, the archipelago boasts one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. While the Whitsunday Islands are primarily known for their outstanding natural beauty, they are also remarkably home to some of the oldest Aboriginal archaeological sites in the country. Number 6. Melbourne The capital of the state of Victoria, Melbourne, is Australia's second most populated city. Located near the southeastern tip of Australia, on the large natural bay of Port Phillip, Melbourne is considered the nation's cultural capital as well as an important port. Due to its high quality of life, citizens from around the world have flocked to the streets. Melbourne's city centre district boasts the most attractions, including the city's most recognisable landmark, the Flinders Street Railway Station. The multiple clocks hanging over the Edwardian era station's entrance is a popular meeting spot. The skyscraper, Eureka Tower, features an 88th floor observation platform, the highest in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Carlton District, visitors can explore the Southern Hemisphere's largest museum, 
The Melbourne Museum showcases the nation's rich social history, from its indigenous cultures to its fascination with football and horse racing, and has extensive exhibits illustrating Australia's natural history as well. Number 5. Tasmania The island state of Tasmania may be isolated from the rest of the country, but it still remains one of the best places to visit in Australia. Almost half of its area is protected, as the government looks to preserve the natural riches. With desolate wilderness and alpine plateaus interspersed with stunning white beaches, waterfalls, and forests, exploring its terrain is simply mesmerizing. Taking a boat trip along its craggy coast is equally rewarding, and you can even see dolphins, penguins, and seals along the way. With lots of great local produce, eating and drinking in the capital city of Hobart is an absolute pleasure, and the restaurants and bars are divine. The island also hosts an eclectic range of great festivals throughout the year, where you can enjoy local beer and wine or arts and music events. Number 4. Kakadu National Park When it comes to wilderness areas, Kakadu National Park showcases the best of Australia. Covering more than 19,840 square kilometers in the Northern Territory, it's the second largest national park in the world. Within its borders, you can explore monsoon waterfalls, mangrove swamps, rivers, gorges, ancient rock paintings, wetlands, and waterfalls. Kakadu is also home to an astounding diversity of wildlife. In addition to the many mammals, reptiles, and fish, more than 300 different species of birds make their home here and both freshwater and saltwater crocodiles lurk in the wetlands. To explore the park's diverse ecosystems, hop aboard a cruise along the waterways or hike the vast network of trails. You can also take a scenic flight. Number 3. Uluru Kata Tuduta National Park Deep in the heart of Australia's red center, Uluru is one of the most photographed natural wonders in the country. The striking red monolith forms the centerpiece of Uluru Kata Tajuta National Park, a World Heritage Site jointly managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Anagu people. Uluru, meaning shadowy place in the local Aboriginal dialect, rises to a height of 348 meters from the surrounding plain. Most of its bulk is hidden beneath the Earth's surface. Also in the park are the red dome-shaped rocks called Kata Tajuta. As the sun dips in the sky, sightseers gather to watch the colors of Uluru and Kata Tujuta transform in the shifting light. A great way to appreciate these sacred sites is to join a tour led by Aboriginal guides and rangers. Number 2. Great Barrier Reef Marine Park You can't leave Australia without seeing the Great Barrier Reef. This World Heritage listed natural wonder is one of the largest living structures on the planet. It's so vast, you can see it from outer space. For divers, snorkelers, island aficionados, and nature lovers, it's a bucket list destination. One of the seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches for 2,300 kilometers along the state of Queensland on Australia's east coast. Not surprisingly, the Great Barrier Reef is one of the best places to visit in Australia for diving and snorkeling. The astounding array of marine life includes soft and hard corals. Travelers have many options for visiting the Great Barrier Reef. You can cruise around the islands, hop aboard a sightseeing flight, take day trips to the islands, or snorkel and dive the reefs. On the mainland, the main launching points for tours are Carnes, Port Douglas, and RLI Beach. Number 1. Sydney Almost picture perfect, Sydney is a fantastic city with a lot going for it. A modern city with a long history, Sydney is defined by its scenic harbour. The region's first inhabitants lived along the harbour's bank for thousands of years. The harbour was also the landing site for convicts sent to Australia during the 1780s. Today, ferries take visitors for cruises under the famed Sydney Harbour Bridge and past the iconic Sydney Opera House. Adventurous travelers can take a ferry to Manly Wharf, where they can rent kayaks to paddle the inlets of Sydney Harbour National Park or sign up for surf classes at Manly Beach. Sydney's beaches are the perfect place to spend a warm summer day, to swim, or just relax on the sands. The most popular are Bondi Beach, Manly, and Coogee, although many others have their own charms. No visit to Sydney is complete without a tour of the Sydney Opera House.